Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I didn't record this part, but I did use the Wet n Wild um, pencil in dark brown. I used a Pro Concealer in LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And this is a real technique brush that I'm about to use to blend all that out. I didn't show you guys this part, but I just started recording late, so I apologize. I'm sorry. But that is MOM on my face. I do use it when I want my makeup to really stay. So in this video, I'm preparing for photo shoots for my birthday. So I wanted to stay. I know I was going to get hot and all that, so I wanted something that was going to stay. And I also went in with the Maybelline Eraser Concealer. And I use it just at my, like, the tail end of my eyebrows, just a little bit. I didn't show you guys, but I just use it to kind of brighten that area. And I also use this e.l.f. Concealer in the co color um, Cocoa, I believe. It's the color Cocoa. It's a similar color to my skin. And I like to use that to go up the top of my eyebrows. I don't want any lighter color. It's, like, a lot similar. Not extremely close to my skin just a little bit lighter but I like just a little bit of highlight on top of my eyebrows nothing too much and I'm just gonna blend out the beginning of my eyebrow to give it that fresh natural look I'm using the same concealer brush that I just used with you know just a little bit lightly going over it so I can kind of fade that out a little bit yeah and then now I'm, I'm moisturizing the lip moisturize your lip you guys just do that before you put anything on your lip, especially matte, anything matte, okay? This is the Color Stay Foundation in color D80. Um, and I use that. I've been using it a lot. It's inexpensive and it works, okay? I'm using like a flat type, type of brush. I'm not even sure what brush this is. But any type of brush that you use to put your foundation would work. I'm just putting some on my forehead right here. And in my nose, just little streaks, little streaks, little streaks. Get that in there. I'm on full coverage, so I'm not holding back, okay? And I'm going to dab it in. I notice dabbing gives you the best color payoff, okay? When you swipe it, most of the foundation goes into the brush, and I feel like you lose it, and you end up wasting foundation, okay? So dab, dab, dab. Once you dab it in, then you can kind of swipe, okay? You swipe, especially up under the eye, you may need to swipe but I do like the dabby motion, okay? That's all I'm doing here, just getting that foundation on. All right, over the eyebrows. Make sure you get over the eyebrows to kind of blend out that concealer. Don't forget that part. But the key to makeup is blending, you guys. I know you probably hear this a lot, but it really is true. Blend, 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 and blend. <laughs> blend. So that's all I'm doing here and then now I'm adding more foundation because I realized forehead was just missing a little bit and that happens it's okay um, just make sure you put coverage everywhere on your face don't leave anything out and now I'm going in with this morphe bronzer in the color um, prodigy I like to use it as a like crease color transition color on my eyes I think it works it's like a nice brownish red color I've been using it forever I love it I think it works with a lot of different foundation looks so I use it because makeup can be it's very versatile you can use different things for different areas it's makeup you can use it you know what I mean and it, it's gonna do the job okay so I do use it as a transition color in my uh, eyebrows all right I don't know what I was talking about. Don't mind it, but having a conversation <laughs> right in the middle of doing makeup. But yeah, don't mind none of that. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm using this Juvia's Place palette. It's like browns. It has all browns colors. You can use any brown color that you decide to use. It doesn't have to be this one, but I'm going in the middle, in the middle of my eye. Okay, right underneath where we just put the transition color. It's gonna just darken it up brighten it up and it gives it a nice fresh look very natural look I'm not doing anything too crazy with this no smoky eye or anything so I'm just using it and I'm lightly touching this with the brush okay now shimmer you can use any shimmer you want I'm just using the one off this palette 
um, I notice shimmer shows up very nicely for me in pictures. So I tend to put a little shimmer. I'm not doing nothing too crazy with my eyeshadow, no cut crease or anything. Just a very simple look. This video, the purpose of this video is simple looks, okay? Nothing too crazy. If I can do it, you can do it. Like, truly, honest and truly, if I can do it, you can do it. Just put a little shimmer. Use any shimmer you desire. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer as well. I'm just squeezing some out. Making like a V-shape up under my eye. Do it one side, do it to the other side. And I make sure I get the sides of my nose. I do want concealer on the sides of my nose. And yeah, so I'm doing both sides as you can see. And this is in the color toast, okay? Use whatever color you want, whatever concealer you want. But this is very affordable concealer you can find almost anywhere. Beauty Supply, Amazon, you name it. And I've been using it for years and it works and it's inexpensive. I'm gonna wait, let it sit for a little bit. Going with a beauty blender, sorry. <laughs> and I'm pinching it because that helps me get the corners or the side of my nose when I pinch it that way. Um, I start off doing that first and then I go up under the eye. I realized I think I put just a little too much concealer, but that's okay. Um, we're going to still blend it out, okay, and get it the way we want it. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm done with the blending, okay? Um, now we're going to go in with the Fenty stick in the color, uh, Fenty match stick in the color Espresso. I'm gonna use this just to kind of contour my nose just a tiny bit, nothing too crazy. That's the only thing I'm gonna contour. I know I usually contour my face, I just didn't wanna do that today. Um, you know, cor like, you know, contour the side, the side of the cheeks and all that, and all the extra contouring areas. I just wanna contour my nose, and this is a very good color. It's not too harsh. I think it's the perfect contour for my skin tone. So I'm just using it very lightly with the brush. I'm using a brush. Um, this is actually a foundation brush, but it's kind of flat. You know, like a flat type of brush, and I feel like that works the best to get this contour on the nose. If you have any flat brush, that would work very well. And this one is small enough, and I feel like it works perfect for this. So I don't use it for fine um, eyeshadow. I use it to contour my nose. I lost a little bit of concealer while doing this contouring, so I just went and this is the concealer brush I was using. I just used the product that was left over on there and just went over it to put that back. We don't want to mess that up. Now I'm using the puffer. I love these little puffers. I got a whole pack of them from um, Amazon, okay? And I'm using the banana powder regular old-fashioned banana powder and I'm going to just lightly put some I don't use a lot when I'm baking I know some people use so much I am afraid to look you know ghostly white out just washed up <laughs> it makes me look like that and this is just how I feel it makes me look so I don't put too much I just lightly put some and blend that in just like that anywhere I put concealer I'm gonna put some so over my nose tip of my nose all those areas I will add some of that now I'm using a brush with the cover girl super stay color and 375 this is like a um, all over face powder it's gonna go over my face especially when I just put all that um, setting powder because I don't want it to be too bright, too harsh. And I'm just kind of going over it, very lightly going over it quickly and lightly, nothing too crazy, to kind of tame that, you know, brightness down. Same Morphe uh, bronzer palette. I'm going to use that to kind of just bronze my face, just go around the cheek area. Nothing crazy, very simple. 
this is the look I usually do all the time you guys if you were ever wondering this is what it is I did it on both sides okay I'm using this elf shimmer I've had this for so long you can use any shimmer you want or you don't have to some people don't use shimmer anymore I tend to I feel like especially if I'm taking pictures I feel like it resonates really nicely in pictures so I do go over my cheek area right on top of the bronzer on the tip of my nose on the bridge of my nose I do use it and you just gotta blend it out really really good because it will be a little harsh if you don't and I lightly use it I don't use too much blending it out now I am using the Maybelline this is like a lip stain Maybelline this is in the color I want to say fearless so this is a Maybelline vinyl ink in the color um, fearless and then but first I'm gonna use this pencil this is the wet n wild I have one for my lips and one for my eyes um, no I use it for my eyebrows actually but it is in the color dark brown I go over with that first I feel like if I do this first the Maybelline um, vinyl ink will you know just look darker for some reason so I do go over with that first and before I do that I'm gonna spray my face this is with the Maybelline lasting fix setting spray and then I'm gonna go in with the vinyl ink I didn't I felt like the spray was gonna mess it up so I didn't use it let that dry and here we go now I'm gonna put the stain um, after I put this I do let it sit for just a little bit um, so it won't kind of move around but once you put it it really does stay sometimes you may need to go back and and reinforce it after you add um, whatever lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you decide to put but it it lasts a long time you know these are just some random nude colors I picked up I think from TJ Maxx or Ross years ago I don't know um, maybe about a year ago <laughs> and I got like just a light nude color you can use any light nude color you want you can use a, a nude lipstick a nude lip gloss whatever it is that's all I'm using here nothing special I did with my lips at all And yeah, I love this combo. It's usually my go-to, but I move it around a little bit. But I love that one. Just gonna go on with some eyeliner before I put in my lashes. Um, I'm not sure what eyeliner this is. I don't know if it's Maybelline. Just a regular eyeliner, and I just did that before I put anything. And then I'm going in with mascara. Any mascara works. I put mascara before I put my lashes. It's gonna blend everything together. You don't want your um, lashes to show up underneath, <laughs> you know. I got these lashes from Amazon. I'll probably link them down below for you guys. I like them especially for pictures. They pop up real nice. I cut the tips. You see those little tips? They will irritate your eyes so bad to the point that you want to snatch them off. It don't matter where you are, you're going to snatch them off because they'll just be poking your eyelid. I take those tips off. I put some glue. I didn't show you guys the glue, but I'll link it down below. Um, it is eyelash glue, but it's it's black. It's in black. I get it from Amazon. I will link it below for you guys if you guys are interested. Don't mind my head. Um, I just took, I don't know why I took my bonnet off, but it's off. But this is what I look like. <laughs> but, you know, my hair stick down and all that for my wigs. But, you know, it is what it is. No judgment. <laughs> so, yeah, I just put one lash on. Okay guys, we're back with the final look. I did put my wig on. And next thing is pictures. So please follow me, follow your girl on social media. All my social medias are linked are down below. And I'll probably put them on the screen as well. But I will be taking pictures and posting the pictures that I decide to take. You guys will see it soon. And also I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. 
this started fading off. Sometimes that happens. I don't think I put enough. I'm gonna let it sit, not touch it, and I'll blend it out when it's ready. Probably for like, I don't know, 15 seconds or so. Let that um, sit and kind of get tacky and then blend it in, okay? So yeah, final face in here. Obviously not the outfit, but I wear these shorts when I do makeup and stuff, y'all, because makeup could fall on it. They can be damaged, all that, and we good. <laughs> anyway, this is it. All right, you guys, I thought this was way better lighting. I am, this is natural lighting. Wanted to show you guys how everything came out. I haven't blended my lips yet, so that's why y'all see it like that, but let's do it together. It's been like maybe a minute and 15 seconds or so, so I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, nothing crazy. But I don't want no harsh lines, so yeah. So this is the makeup look. This is the hair. This hair I got from Amazon, you guys. Um, um, it's supposed to be 30 inches. I don't know about that. <laughs> it is not 30 inches. I'm 5'5". Five five. I don't think it's 30 inches. Maybe, maybe 26. Barely 28, I think. But anyway, so that's that. If you guys are interested, it's very. It's one of those like put on and go glueless wigs. All I did was just pluck it, maybe just a little bit, and I did put some makeup in here. But that's really all I did. And, um, yeah, I'll link it down below if anybody's interested in this wig. Um, very soft, but the density is not very high, you guys. But that's okay. That's the look. I wanted a bone straight, thin look. So sometimes I don't need the density to be too much. That's just me. Sometimes I do, but in this case, I didn't. So the density is not very high on it. But anyway, I'll link it. Anybody wants it, yeah. Hope you guys like this look. This is just a look to let you know that you don't have to spend a whole lot to get some really good quality makeup. Everything here is extremely affordable. Not necessarily high-end stuff, like, you know, the more expensive things. But, you know, you could have all those still. I have some of those as well. But the everyday looks, you don't need to do all that to have a good-looking face, okay? And, yeah, I apologize for my voice. But, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Can you focus on me?